Hello and welcome to Alleviate Dry Eye, where you can learn to take care of your eyes like it's the only pair you'll ever have. I'm Dr. Pam Terrio, but you can call me Dr. T. I'm, today we're going to talk about Demodex and the truth about tea tree oil. So maybe you've heard that there's been a little ruckus about tea tree oil lately, and maybe you know the term blepharitis or demodex or meibomian gland dysfunction, MGD. This goes by a few different names, and depending on what part of the country you're in or which doctor you see, you might have heard about this in a little bit of a different way. But what's going on is that there is a mite called demodex that can sometimes cause bad things to happen on our eyes. So demodex is a small mite that burrows itself into our hair follicles of our eyelashes and our eyebrows. Now this mite is in the same family as the demodex that causes mange in dogs. The kind that could live on your lids and lashes is a different form of the mange causing <laughs> demodex, but it's in the same family. So you kind of get my point that this demodex buries itself into the hair follicles and causes your lashes to become brittle, dry, hard, um, break off easily, and end up falling out. So if you've noticed a lot of eyelashes and your eyes are red around the margins, or you have really itchy eyes at the base of your lashes, perhaps you have an overgrowth of a demodex in your eyes. Now, why is the demodex there? Well, first of all, let me ease your stress right about now and that know that it is normal. We all have some amount of demodex on us. Now, scientists have not yet found out why, but some theorize that the demodex are playing a role by living on our lashes. We're not sure what it is, but since we have them, maybe they're supposed to be there. The problem comes in though, when the demodex gets overpopulated. And that's when you get the irritation on your lids, the redness, the itching, and the lashes falling out. So what do you do about it? Whenever I talk to a patient, who comes to me knowing they have demodex or I have to tell them that they have demodex, um, it's very stressful because no one wants to have bugs on their lids. Um, granted, we all have them, so calm down. It's okay. It, it's going to be okay. Let me tell you what we have always done to treat this demodex. Now, for the last five, eight, years, we have been treating Demodex at home and in the office with a uh, organic, natural substance called tea tree oil. And there's all sorts of products made. There's wipes. I, I got three different kinds of wipes I just pulled out of the, the bin today. So there's wipes that you use to treat this at home. There's foaming cleansers and scrubs. Um, and there's even in-office treatments where at one point I would have a patient come in, put lots of numbing drops in their eyes, and then paint this 4% tea tree oil on their lashes and their eyebrows and let them sit and wait for several minutes um, so that the tea tree oil would penetrate deeply into their lids. Now, this is what we thought we were supposed to do. Tea tree oil is antibacterial. The Mayo Clinic has said that um, it is even used to treat acne, athlete's foot, nail fungus, and tea tree oil is also anti-inflammatory. It's in a lot of facial scrubs and cleansers. It reduces redness. It alleviates inflammation. It can soothe the skin. It's also antiparasitic. And you can read even in my own book, Alleviate Dry Eye, where I talk about the, the key chemical component of tea tree oil, which is terpenol 4 oil, that for all, it is the only ingredient that we knew of that could kill these demodex mites. And so that's why all of these products are so readily available. Um, is that we thought at that point that the tea tree oil was the answer. Well, lo and behold, we were wrong. 
So this summer in August or September, I'm losing my, my months already, um, Harvard, the universe, uh, Harvard University, some researchers came out after doing um, an, a clinical trial and knowing that this terpenol for all is actually toxic to the glands that we are trying to save by using this tea tree oil. So now I have personally stopped using tea tree oil in the office because it, they found that at concentrations much lower than what's available in these wipes or especially the kind that I was painting on my patient's lids, the con con these concentrations were toxic to the meibomian glands that we were trying to help. So like I said, we have stopped using tea tree oil in my clinic and um, there's something else we can do. But they also found that tea tree oil in, in is also um, has endocrine, endocrine disrupting properties. So it disrupts the hormones and can disrupt your endocrine system. So I, if you're watching this vlog, I want you also to stop using tea tree oil cleansers on your face or your body because it can not only cause toxic effects on your eyes, but it can be a hormone disruptor if you're putting it on your face or body. So what's the answer, Dr. T? I don't wanna live with these mites in my lashes, right? Um, it's very disturbing. So there is a product that I have talked a lot about called Zocular. Um, it is an Oprah-based product that will kill these Demodex mites. It comes in a foaming cleanser, in a wipe form, in a gel for a, a little bit thicker application. And there's also an in-office procedure that we can do to eliminate these mites from your eyes. And so what would we do when we have less mites on our eyes? Well, your eyes are going to be wider, brighter. They're not going to itch and your lashes will begin to grow. The beauty of using one of these products, one of these zocular products is that you can use this twice a day, every day, and your eyes will get better and better and better. It's not irritating the way I use it. I leave this guy in my shower, pump a little bit onto my finger, and then I rub my two fingers together and just scrub, scrub, scrub right into my lash line. Let it sit for maybe 20 seconds and then I rinse it away. I have another one that I use in the morning when I wash my face. Um, scrub, I just pump it on my finger again and scrub it and twice a day. So there you have it. If you think you are suffering from Demodex, you have this itchy, scratchy feeling at the base of your lashes, or your eyes are red and irritated and you have a red ring around your eyes, please stop using tea tree oil and give me a call at the office, reply to this blog, let me know what you're thinking, and you can get a hold of this docular formula and get rid of them that way. Thanks again for joining me today. Remember, if we take care of our eyes today, our vision will last us a lifetime. Bye for now.